to be the man! You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cactus Jack! Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 50 of the Future Heels podcast. My name is Jacob Bessler Elm Hodder. I am Brian Bryman Peacock. And this is a very special episode because it's number 50 and it's also WrestleMania. And we're recording this halfway through just because it's starting to get late. Yeah. <laughs> it's just going to help us keep our energy up. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's been a pretty fantastic show so far. It's been pretty good. Uh, so we had the Intercontinental Championship, which was a solid match. Which we got Seth Rollins as the White Walker coming out. That was pretty cool. That was a cool way to start the show. Seth always has great entrances. But that was a solid match. The U.S. Championship Jinder Mahal won. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. I wish it was Rusev. I didn't care either way. No? You like, I mean, you like Rusev. I, I want, like, out of those four, yeah, Rusev, but... I, don't, I mean, I really, really don't care for the other three. So yeah. Neither does Riley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobby Roode came out, and she just goes, Oh my God, can you just stop? <laughs> From a four-year-old. <laughs> was the funniest thing I've ever heard. I don't, like, why? Yeah. Like, I don't know <laughs> what caused her to do that. Because maybe all the, the sequins on the... The gown and just the -the over-the-top everything's, oh my god. Just like that, too. Just, oh my god, can you just stop? (laughs) She kept saying, please stop. Just unamused, just, I'm over this fucking guy. (laughs) That was pretty great. I'm I'm probably doing these out of order. I'm definitely doing these out of order. Uh, The tag team championship match was fairly short, but it It was was pretty short. Um... We got uh, pages on the screen. It scared the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we did get the little the little pancake people. That was funny. That was really funny. It was it was a solid match for as short as it was, and the Bludgeon Brothers won. Yeah, I'm excited for that. That I think that that's probably let me get on my list of what we predicted. I think that's see. I really think WrestleMania is like the perfect time to have the guys. Although they have won the championships before, but not as the Bludgeon Brothers. Mm-hmm. It's like the perfect time to have them win because the Usos and the New Day are both over as hell. Right. Not gonna get any more over. Bludgeon Brothers. I feel like even though they've been around for a while, are not unknowns. But I don't know, it was weird whenever they repackage guys. Yeah, it's new characters. So. Yeah, and they deserve it. Um, let's see. For the tag team championships, we all had the New Day except you. <laughs> you had the Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah. Uh, for the United States Championship, we all thought Rusev was going to win. Yeah, because it's Rusev Day. Yeah, of course. He deserved to win. And I, he had a really good build up to it, too. Yeah. Gender is like, I don't understand what they're doing with gender. I really don't. You can never assume it. He's going to keep making that joke, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm Intercont- out of them, so. Huh? What's that? <laughs> I'm out of jokes. Yeah. Like, the Intercontinental Championship, we were all wrong. I thought The Miz was going to retain. You guys thought Balor was going to win. Yep. Um, I'm t- totally okay with Seth winning, though. Yeah. I mean, he's Grand fine. Slam champion now, too. Yeah. So he's won all the major belts. Oh, that doesn't mean... He goes to Denny's after? He might. All right. Yes. That's what I thought it was. I'm going to imagine that they do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Him and Vince McMahon. <laughs> uh, we had... We, Vince Vince seems like a Moons Over Miami kind of guy, though. Oh, I am. Uh, I am, too. But. The best thing ever. Especially the sandwich. Um, the men's battle royal, Matt Hardy won. I think we all predicted that, right? Yeah, yes. it's all the build up for Brooks it. didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> um The women's championship match, Oscar versus Charlotte Flair, we all thought Oscar was gonna win. That just pissed me off. I'm not even gonna say that surprised me. I was just mad. It was a fantastic match though. It was good. They put on a hell of a show and 
Charlotte didn't need it. Nope. I feel like Oscar did. Yep. Yeah, I think you're right about that one. Charlotte deserves so it though. So does Oscar. I don't know. I. That's one of those matches I don't envy the people that have to book it. Yeah. It now it normalizes Oscar. Now she's just another. A little bit. Just another wrestler. Yeah. Good wrestler, but she's just another one now. Pretty much. And uh, we're going to go ahead... We'll talk about the Undertaker-John Cena match after this one. Okay. Because it's Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax. So we'll be back with that in just a second. All right. So we just watched the Raw Women's Championship match, Nia Jax versus Alexa Bliss. And it was a little slow. But it was still... Still a solid match. Gave us one of the best spots of the night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nia Jack screaming at Alexa face and Alexa screaming as well and trying to run away. That was hilarious. That was a good match. I'm happy for Nia. After seeing the build up to it, yeah, it makes a lot more sense. This is a one. old school good wrestling payoff of just the monster heel getting beat. Mm-hmm. That's nice to see every once in a while. I liked it. And I'm curious to see what they're going to do with Alexa now. Yeah. But uh, Naya also had to give her the Samoan drop off the top rope to finish it. Which was pretty freaking cool. That was pretty intense. And I, I love a match with an Alabama slam in it. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. A couple of matches we didn't get to just yet were Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon... Yeah, versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. I thought I got that wrong for a second. <laughs> so that means uh, Kevin and Sami still don't have jobs, right? Correct. Because they did lose that match. They're going to Raw. Yeah, because they're doing the... The Superstar Shake-Up. Yeah, I didn't want to say it. It's the <laughs> stupidest fucking thing. Do you like the draft better? Yeah. Yeah, because the... The shake-up thing, they're just drawing names, right? And people are going every which way. Um, I don't remember. I think it's just a draft. I think it's just the same way they've always done it. Well, they need to change the name back. You should, because it's also SS. <laughs> which is not great initials. Yeah, it could be better. Like, the draft is just... You know what that is. Yeah. All the sports do it. Yep. Like, we're going to have a superstar shake-up. Okay, well, what does that mean? <laughs> like, I can see someone from outside of wrestling being like, okay, like, it you're going to have dumb. people face each other that don't normally... Oh, what's a shake-up? What is that? Yeah. Draft? Oh, right. So people are going to go to different teams? It's like, oh, yeah, kind of. That's basically what it means. Yep. Oh, we're going to get the Shinsuke Nakamura AJ Styles match soon, so let's get through Our this. Our main is, event is coming yes. up next, I guess. Because I'll tell you what wasn't our main event. <laughs> we were on a Rousey and Kurt Angle versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, which I was told, was we, and we are recording this after Mania because we were very busy Sunday. I was told was a good match. Yeah, I heard it was better than expected. It was better than expected. That's fair to say. Not because of Ronda. It wasn't a lot better than expected, but then no. again, we expected... The lowest of the low and uh, dropping stuff. They were smart in having her basically just do the arm bar. <laughs> yeah, you can arm bar, right? All right, do that. It just don't actually break the hand full time. Yeah. And uh, she did that stupid exploder suplex type thing, and it was just Stephanie jumping. Like, that. that's half the move, is the person jumping. But you yes. shouldn't be able to tell. Right. It's ridiculous. And then we had The Undertaker versus John Cena, which was really quick. Apparently they had to sacrifice Elias to get The Undertaker to come out anymore. Yeah, I think the only reason they had... I have a a copy of that magazine. I don't know what it's called because it's in Japanese, but... um, Yeah, I think the only reason they had Elias come out was so they could play uh, House of the Rising Sun. For a half second. He did an awful, awful job at it, too. It sounded like me playing it. The match was just a bunch of Undertaker spots, 
And then we almost got the five knuckle shuffle. And then mm-hmm. John Cena lost. But up until Alexa, that was my favorite spot. Yeah, that was pretty great. I, I say that match sucked. It was it just like it was a long time building up to it. And we kept getting John Cena interrupting shit during Mania, them cutting the camera. It wasn't worth it to me. No, no. Was a giant waste of time. Well, you got to see the Undertaker. That's, That's fine. all it was. But give us an actual match. Not just a squash. Right. Which is weird to see John Cena get squashed. Yeah. But, whatever. Some Ring of Honor footage or something right there. We're going to watch our main event now. Our main event. I'm psyched for this one. Okay, that that's pretty much exactly how I thought that was going to go other than Nakamura losing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a fantastic match. It's a little slower than I expected, but... It was still pretty good. It was, yeah, it was a little slower, but I think that's them adjusting to the WWE style. Because they just... It's not going to be a spot fest. Like, yeah. like a lot of things are, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, and yeah, now they're hugging in the ring. This is awesome. This is a, this is a WrestleMania moment. Mm-hmm. I love this. But AJ Styles, you know, undoubtedly deserves it. Oh, yeah. Oh, now Shinsuke's going to hand him the belt. Right? Or is Shinsuke going to turn heel? No. Because that would be crazy. I don't think (laughs) Shinsuke's going to hand him the belt. No. Oh, you guys probably already know what happened. Yeah, that's true. Oh, wow. Still selling the knee injury, too. What a pro. Yeah. This is... Sorry, audio listeners. That's the only type of listeners we have at the moment. We're just taking in the moment of freaking AJ Styles versus Shinsuke. Oh, heel turn. Really? I look away for two seconds. Low blow? Low blow. Damn. I'm excited about that, though. Nakamura is a heel. Can they get him over as a heel? It's a question. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what a dick. Okay. He's kicking the shit out of Styles. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh my wow. god. Wow. He's stomping his face. Good lord. You're gonna get your fucking head kicking. <laughs> Just dead. All right. Jeez. I'm cool with that. These guys need to have more matches. Yes, all the matches. Yeah. <laughs> just all the pay per views of just Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ <laughs> Styles. That's all we need. Jeez. Just get, get, get out. Stop. I'm starting to get annoyed with them. Yeah, I guess you're right. They can get him over as a heel. Yeah. God. He's going to kick him again. He might start speaking more Japanese. He just doesn't care that people don't know what he's saying. Yeah. Like Kenny Omega did in Japan. Just yeah. Back, we're just do it backwards. <clears throat> he's next. Right? No. No. That's... <laughs> he's making all the money. All right, so the rest of the show, I believe, is Strowman, mystery partner versus The Bar. And then the Universal Championship, right? Oh, so we're missing some, which we, we could be. I mean, this is... pretty sure the cruiserweights were on the pre-show, which we didn't get to watch. I'm sure. Unless, yeah, because we don't have cruiserweights are after this. Oh, Damn. And Styles yeah. is, is dead. Yeah. We're, we're gonna have a yeah. tournament for the belt now. This show is five hours long. We're not watching the pre-show. <laughs> Good God. It's getting a little ridiculous. Yeah, they're uh, trying to keep up with uh, Wrestle Kingdom. I guess. But, all right. Well, we're gonna. I guess we're watching video game footage now, because you know you need an ad during your multi-million-dollar show. Yeah. So. All right. Well, we're gonna watch the rest of the show, and we'll, you'll get back to us.
Okay. That was WrestleMania 34. Mm-hmm. How many times do we have to watch that fucking match? Brock and Roman. At least this time oh. we have blood, I guess. Yeah. And I'm not... That'll yeah. And I, I don't care for blood. I don't think it's needed. And I mean, at least bloody the dude and then let him win. Yeah. <laughs> for fuck's sake. I don't... I'm, I don't hate Brock. I don't. I don't hate Roman. I'm just tired of both of them. Yep. I feel like. See, you stopped watching wrestling when John Cena and Randy Orton were running things, right? Oh, probably a little before, but yeah, pretty much. This is what it was like. It was like, okay, we're doing this again. Yeah. Yeah. Thank we- God, and I regret saying anything fucking negative about Shinsuke and AJ's match now. Because <laughs> yeah, that was infinitely better. Yeah, what we just watched was ridiculous. We barely watched it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I threw my laundry in. You might hear that in the background. Because I knew I, I walked in. I was like, "How many suplexes did I miss?" All of them. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's I all it was. It was suplex after suplex after suplex after suplex, and then oh, I only got a couple F5. things in. Thrown an F five. I don't, I don't want to hate Brock, but they're making me hate Brock. Yeah, they make it hard to like him. And not even in a, like, I hate him because he's a heel way. Like, I'm fucking tired of him. Yep. And when he did that, that high knee strike, because I was excited, it was like, oh my god, a new move. (laughs) Brock learned a new move. (laughs) Making John Cena look exciting. (laughs) Yeah. For fuck's sake. I mean... (laughs) He, the Suplex City thing should well, be something to live by. <laughs> <laughs> Suplex City, and there's there's got there's there has to be some suburbs of <laughs> Suplex City. It should be a spot. Yeah, it should be him should be a match. Suplex City exactly. In a few years, when Brock is gone, and we look back on this uh, as a good thing, there's <laughs> gonna be a Suplex City match. Where all you're allowed to use is suplexes. Okay. <laughs> There's different types. All different types, but only suplexes. You know what? That would be... That'd be interesting. <laughs> oh I'd watch god, it. You're gonna kill me. I'd watch it. Oh my god. Because there's a lot of suplexes. There are a lot of suplexes. But... I don't know. This was a really good mania overall. But that last match was dull as hell. Yeah, we could have done without that. I, we could have done it with AJ and Shinsuke closing the show. Yeah, they should have. With Shinsuke fucking turning heel. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That's so kind of weird, but I'll, we'll see how it turns out, I guess. I like it. I love pay per views where, like, so for example, if Shinsuke, if it would have ended with Shinsuke kicking the shit out of AJ. Maybe holding the belt, and the camera turns off. Because that makes you go, hold on, wait, wait, turn the camera back on. What's yep. going on? <laughs> wait, what? What's happening? I, damn it, I got to watch tomorrow. Yeah, there's definitely no cliffhanger for at least None. that last match. That felt like a series finale. Yeah. It was like, all right, we're all, we're all done here. No need we to just, come back. Only thing we want to know is how many stitches Roman got. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing that left us wondering. I, we've talked about this on the show. I don't like blood. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's, doesn't make things better. It didn't make that better. It made it more exciting. A little. Yeah. yeah. More, more exciting. It would have, it, it would have been better if he won. Because that would have been, he would have fought through that adversity. Yeah. It was a lot of blood too. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know. I, I just... Let's talk about Raw. Because <laughs> this is way more exciting. Yeah. There's a few things here we're going to quickly go over. Ember Mune... Em- immune. <laughs> Ember is immune. Ember Moon debuted. Uh, I believe she's teaming up with Nia Jax to go against uh, Alexa and Mickey James. 
No, I don't like that. That's all right. She should have showed up as herself, by herself, to kick ass. I don't yeah. like that they're, they're fucking up already. Put her back in NXT. Let, let the Ember Moon fans get the Ember Moon we like. We will. I don't think so, unfortunately. So, No Way Jose debuted. Dude's been off NXT for a while. He kind of disappeared. I think he's been doing a lot of, like, house show, local show yeah. things. I think he was as over as he was going to get. They oh, were just yeah. waiting for him to to put him up on the main roster. I think he's going to be... I think he's going to do well. I do, too. I think he had... There's guys like him where you see them on NXT... And they come out, and they're incredible. And, you know, he never won the NXT Championship, but you don't have to. And I felt like he peaked in NXT. It was like, all right, you're ready. You need to you need to get out of here. Mm-hmm. Um, another example of that is AOP debut, The Authors of Pain. Good. Get him, get him out of <laughs> my local NXT shows. Yeah, no shit. That, too. <laughs> they seem to be in every single one. Yeah. Well, they're getting ready. We can put them up there. Get them out of my way. <laughs> they have... If you go back, it's in the description. We've talked about AOP quite a bit. Because they're on quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. But th- that's a couple of dudes that have gone from boring as shit to they have character and they're entertaining in the ring and they're only going to get better, I hope. I hope. When did that happen? <laughs> They've gotten much better. Their matches have gotten better. Their characters have not. Okay, I'll take back what I said. Yeah. They're <laughs> they mad. have cooler looking gear now. <laughs> and they have a cooler video in their entrance. All right, fine. <laughs> that, yeah, sure. But no, the character and everything, is, they're still bad. But their matches, they they do more than go out, suplex people, and win. I mean, their matches are entertaining, at least, to watch. Yeah, Absolutely. And they're 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 a good powerhouse. I just think their names suck. Akam and Razar. Yeah, I mean, someone tried to get clever. Tried, but I don't know. But then they're not authors. Yeah, man, I wish they had a different name. Is anything else? Warlords? I don't even know. <laughs> just something else. The Ascension. <laughs> Couple of big fucks. I don't know. Couple of big fucks. Yes. <laughs> Man, if I could make that the name of this episode, I would. <laughs> Couple of big fucks. Uh, so, oh, and did I say this or not? Bobby Lashley's back. Was you probably not familiar with him? Oh, I am. Oh, okay. That's why. I, that's why that was my response. Oh, you're not interested? Not at all. He's gotten better, too. I don't... Oh, my God. He's... He's just, like, authors of... Like, I just don't... Don't care. think he's exciting. I mean, in TNA, he put a hat on. Oh. (laughs) He also fought MMA while he's been away. So, you know... I mean, I guess we're going to get him versus Brock. uh, That's why Brock retained. Oh... Maybe. I man, I hate going back to this match. I was ready for Roman to be champion. I had, I had, I, I wasn't. But <laughs> you ever I wasn't Brock? ready for Brock to keep the title either. I'm <laughs> ready for Brock to go away for a little while. That that match was like Oscar. I wasn't prepared for any outcome. It's true. Nothing good. Nothing good came out of that. And apparently, oh, oh, Joe's back. And he's going to have a match with Roman Reigns at Backlash. That's a good thing. I'm glad Joe, or yeah. Tomo yeah. Joe T-shirt. <laughs> I'm glad he's back. Absolutely. Um, And I hate to th- end things on a somber note, but Paige has a fi- officially retired because of her neck injury. So there's a lot of hashtag thank you page going around right now. Huh. I know Brooks wouldn't be happy about the thank you page thing. No. 
But she contributed. She definitely, I feel like, sparked the women's revolution. Even though it was a little, I guess, a little premature because it would have happened a bit after her. And then she got with Alberto Del Douchebag. Did you hear that he no showed TNA? Yeah. Yeah, wasn't it the uh, the TNA versus Lucha Underground thing that was yep. going on? Yeah. Del Douchebag. Everyone should just stop doing business with him. Yeah, like, how does he so... I don't think he's even that good. He's a good wrestler. But there's plenty of good wrestlers. Oh, no, there's plenty of much better wrestlers than him. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know why people waste their time. Like, he, I feel like... When, like, I used to be a fan of his, because it was like... He's different. I like him. He reminds me of JBL, because I liked JBL back in the day, because he did mm-hmm. the whole rich guy gimmick and... He's good in the ring. It was like when I became a fan of him, I was like, he's good. I hope he gets better. And he is literally motherfucker plateaued when I saw him. Because <laughs> nothing has changed except his name. <laughs> like he That's just, funny. And actually, he got infinitely worse because he lost Ricardo Rodriguez, his ring announcer. Did you watch um, it all from back then? I, you've shown me some of it. He, dude, Ricardo Rodriguez was the best. Just in the same way Aiden English is the best for Rusev. <laughs> it was, everyone was excited for Ricardo, not for Del Rio. Right. <laughs> I don't know what Ricardo's doing now, but I hope he's doing well. Just like we're doing well. So what do you think? Are we going to start doing ROH or are we going to keep with WWE? What are you thinking right now? Well... Should have watched Supercard of Honor. Still can. Uh, yeah. Just to watch it. Because I'm pretty sure. Isn't it also five hours long? Yeah, but that's an exciting five hours. You know there what? Was a pr- there was probably two exciting hours in Mania 34. We two. really should. While Mania is fresh in our mind, we should watch Supercard of Honor. Yeah. Absolutely, and then we kind of make our decision. Next week. Yeah. No, right now. <laughs> it'll be over at four in the morning. Yeah. And we'll, we'll <laughs> record another show, but it'll mostly be... <laughs> then I'll get to go, get up and go to work. Yeah. That'll be good. Get up as in stand up out of my seat and then go to work. Yeah. All right. So because of that, we're going to go ahead and end it right now. Thank you for listening, guys. Uh, prepare for some changes to the show. So go subscribe to the Ring of Honor. What do they call it? Their subscription thing. I don't know what the hell they call uh, it. Give Ring of Honor money. <laughs> Just do it. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Freaking WWE Network got over 2 million subscribers now. Or something like that. They don't need us. They don't. None of us. None of you listeners. They don't need any of us. So, hashtag unsubscribe to WWE Network. Go give your money to ROH or go give your money to New Japan. Fuck it. Go give your money to... to uh, to me, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> patreon.com slash future villains. I'll take your money. Uh, uh, no, what the hell is the website with all the videos and the merchandise and the high spots? High spots, yeah, go give your money to high spots. Maybe that's what we should do. There's so much stuff on it. I think it's old stuff, though. I'll look yeah, into it. I think it is. Because, uh, hell, give, go give your money to high spots instead of WD. I will say that, regardless. So, thank you for listening, guys. Uh, my name is, you know, Best in the Realm. You know that. You can find me on Twitter at Best in the Realm, Facebook.com slash Best in the Realm Gaming, YouTube Best in the Realm, Twitch.tv slash Best in the Realm. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Brian25 or Instagram Brian1138. And you can find all of our stuff on Facebook at Future Villains. You can find us on our new Instagram. Lots of LARP stuff. By the way, there's a new LARP video coming out soon on the YouTube, Ooh. Future Villains. Uh... We also have a Twitch, twitch.tv slash YouTube villains, which we might start putting videos up there and just, like, live streaming. Not live streaming them. Like a TV channel kind of thing. Yeah. Which, which I thought was a cool idea. Yeah. It's just going to take me a long-ass time to upload everything. Yeah. <laughs> but might as well start now. Yeah, I need to. Um, you can follow us on Twitter, at Future Villains, and you can find all of this content on iTunes and Google Play. And, of course, our website, FewTrueVillains.com, F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. Oh. 
F E W T R U E V I L L A I N S dot com. So I think it's the second time I've ever messed that up in the. We've done 70 episodes now. What are you laughing at? Uh. Of what? Uh, what? Um, breaking news? I don't know if he actually said this or not. Who? It's a picture of Sammy and Kevin talking to Kurt. And the caption is, I heard TNA is hiring. And it oh. had the, and it said, I can't believe the bomb he dropped. I'm still on the ground with my hand on my heart. I gotta see if he actually said okay, that. Okay, we're gonna go find out. And thank you for listening, guys. Did, we gone? We, yeah, we gone. We gone.